Hello guys, welcome back to the Solana development series. In this video, we'll be building an increment program to learn about account constraints and access control. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's to begin with, we'll go to VS Code and clone anchor and then go to the examples and as they have already wrote their uh, wrote the tests for us we we'll just go to anchor examples basic two and delete lips.rs because we'll be writing it again if that's a good way to understand the stuff let me just create that lip.rs here we go yes we have done this so yeah this is where we'll be experimenting before that we'll just okay so let's just go over there so anchor examples basic i'll anchor examples yeah base uh, tutorial basics two. and we just install the dependencies with just by just typing yarn and that's all a few inches later so we have successfully installed the dependencies now we can just go over here and start doing our stuff yeah so we have imported the stuff next we create a program more basic or oh, not basic increment and decrement increment only increment yeah increment program cool we have done this next we'll do something super cool here we like we did something super cool we imported super okay so next we will start by creating a initialize function this will context 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 oh sorry ctx ctx context in the bracket in the context but I have to now create the context Okay, program result. Next, we will open the bracket and say okay. Okay, cool. Yep, so as we have done this, we have this ready. Cool, so we will now just create an account here which will be storing the count. So here we go, subtract and my account public count q8 yes q8 would be better yes so we have the study next we will derive account derive counts yes we have this and then abstract initialize Info open the bracket. Yes, initialize. Yep, now it is cool. We have that debugged. So cool. Yes, next we will create account macro, and here we will be specifying my account. My account. Okay, in the above stuff, we we'll just in the wheel and the pair will be user, and the space we will be acquiring. Uh, space we we'll just keep is eight plus eight. Yes. Next, we we'll create the account. So this is account and account type. Account is this account. Account my account is my account. Okay, next we will 
import another account this will be payer or uh, this will be user which will be sign up so mute we have account mute and here the next part will be session program system program system program program and then here will be control and system top yes we have this done my account and we have this ready yes next we will keep uh, next we start the count by keeping the count as zero cool so we have this and now we will specify uh specify the count so here we go let my account be mutable and account dot my account yes next we will keep my account on dot my account and yours i said count my account account is equal to Zero. Another thing we missed was we can also have authority. So here, like only a certain program, for example, yeah. So if only I want to mutate the data, I want to increase the count, only I can do it. So we can just assign a authority here, and in this case, the authority will be me, and yeah here we go my account dot authority is equal to yeah we can just specify it my okay sorry authority is public key here we go we can just paste it here yeah we have this perfectly fine Cool. Next, we can create another program. So this uh, another uh, okay another function, and this will be to create and this function will be to increase the count. So here we go. We create another. Product. So here, this will be increment just copy this paste it here and we'll just remove this cool and here this will be plus zero plus one great and let me remove the unnecessary stuff from here so this is not needed nor is this we have to keep it mutable and it should have so has underscore one enforces the constraint that increment authority should be equal to this authority so yeah we can just next import the authority here so authority will be the signer authority right now will be signer so it will match both of them yeah we have our program ready and yes we have now successfully created our own increment and a decrement program yes whack me whack me cool so we have now successfully completed this we can just run this program anchor test yes we have now successfully completed and tested our increment and decrement program so that's a wrap for this video and if you liked it 
just hit that small like button and subscribe to my channel and continue watching the series.